What's up YouTube, Hair Rock Must here, bringing you guys my Cardian deck profile for February 2017. Now, I'm bringing you guys my Cardians now, just because I know the ban list is around the corner and I don't want to bring anything meta. And I've got my Black Wings and Raid Raptors ready to go, because I've got some, I've had a comment for, um, for tech cards and Raid Raptors, and I just want to do my Black Wings again, because I've, I've been trying to figure out different ways to play it, and I think I found another way. So, they're all coming up. Um, more profiles later on down the track. Um, so, yeah, but I'm starting off with my Cardians because they're not really meta, but they got a bunch of new support from Rate. So, I'll just dive into the deck profile and I'll explain my card choices as best I can. Um, so, yeah. So, first off, I am running three Flower Cardian Pine and its brother Pine with Crane. Now, I like playing 3 and 3, just because, um, I don't know why, I just like the ratio. Um, I see them when I need to, or I see this when I have Super Koi Koi as well. So, um, I just like having 3 and 3. To me, it just feels aesthetically pleasing, and um, you need to see this guy as much as possible, because he's the only one you can normal summon without tributing. Then I run 3 Curtain, the new release. All you have to do to special summon him is reveal him from hand and draw a Flower Cardian. If you don't draw a Flower Cardian, you've got to send him and the card you drew to Grave. So, big cost. And also, if a Flower Cardian monster you control battles an opponent's monster, you can discard this card from hand and your monster gains a thousand attack. So next I'm running 3 Butterfly, 3 Boar, and 3 Deer. Now, these are the ones you can tribute any Flower Cardian to summon, so you don't have to tribute one with the same level. Um, this one destroys monsters when you draw a Flower Cardian, this one destroys spells when you draw a Flower Cardian, uh, spells and traps, and this one can stack your opponent's deck. Um, basically, you can look at the top three cards of their deck and rearrange it in any order. Also, with this card, you can uh, it's also a tuner, so you can synchro with it. So, you want to see him as much as possible as well. Also, against your opponent with this card, uh, if they've got stuff that pops back row and stuff, you want to see this so they draw into it because it's use because that's useless to them because you don't run any spells or traps that you set. Uh, now onto our main cast, that the, our first release cardians, two zebra grass and two zebra grass with moon. I like running it at two and two just because. Um, I want to see all the ones I tribute for first, and I want to see my Willows as well as all my spell cards. Um, I don't want to draw my spell cards or I won't get my Flower Cardians effects. So, this one just shuffles Flower Cardians from your hand into the deck and draw uh, the same number of cards. So all this card does is just help with um, getting all those cards you need. And this just, when it inflicts battle damage, no, when it destroys an opponent's monster you get to draw a card. With 2000 attack it's not going to, you know, get its effect off them. Next, I'm running Triple Willow and Double Willow with Calligrapher. Now, with this card, um, you can special it from hand, the same as Zebra Grass if you control a level 10, whereas Zebra Grass is a level 7, all lower Flower Cardian. Um, also, with this, once per turn, you can target one Flower Cardian monster in your graveyard, shuffle it into the deck, then you can draw a card, which is awesome because this you can just shuffle, you can continuously shuffle. So, if this is on the field, you can shuffle another one from Grave, draw a card. When that's in Grave, uh, special that, shuffle that, and you can just cycle through them. Also, you need to tribute this to summon the Calligrapher, which has the same effect where if you draw a Flower Cardian, you can special summon it. Same as um, our Zebra Grass with Moon. Also, it's another Tuna. 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 Then finally I run 2 Polonia, 2 Polonia with Phoenix. You don't want to see this too often either. You So, if you want to run Tradens, you can. If you want to run in Rotors, you can. If you want to run Lure of Darknesses, you can. I'm not saying you can't. I just like a pure build, just because I don't want to draw my spell cards and not get my Flower Cardians effects off. Because this is more of a deck to get your Flower Cardians effects off and just spamming, rather than um, all the draw power. So you want to actually get their effects off. Uh, so that's it for monsters, 31 monsters. For spells, I'm running 3 Flower, car uh, flower Stacking, 3 Super Koi Koi, and 3 Recarnation. Um, by now, you guys should know what these two do. This just um, stacks your deck with 3 Flower Cardians with different names from your deck. 
and you can banish it from grave and add a flower carding monster from your grave back to the hand. Super Koi Koi, excavate top three cards of your deck, special summon as many flower carding monsters as among them as possible, ignoring the summoning conditions, but their levels become two and their effects negated. Banish the remaining cards face down and you lose a thousand life points for each card you banish. So you've got to be careful with it, and you can actually activate its graveyard effect the same turn, which is banish this card from your graveyard and tribute one monster to special summon a flower cardian monster from your hand, ignoring its summoning conditions, which is pretty good. But I like Recardination the best because it, its activation effect is both ba it's like the same thing as banishing both Super Koi Koi and Flower Stacking from your grave. When you activate it, target a Flower Cardian monster in your graveyard and add it to your hand. Then special summon one Flower Cardian monster from your hand, ignoring its summoning condition. So already that's much better than both of them. And if this card's milled off by Flower Cardian, so if you use uh, Moon's effect, for example, to draw a card and it's not Flower Cardian, it's this card and send it to grave, this card's effect would activate. To excavate top five cards of your deck, uh, add one excavated spell trap card to your hand, then place the remaining uh, the remaining cards on top of your deck in any order. So this card's just awesome, doesn't matter if you draw it off a flower card in or you already have it in hand. That's it for deck, um, now on for extra. I only run pure cardians because if you special summon Willow, uh, Polonia or Zebra Grass by their effects. You cannot normal summon or special summon Flower Cardians for the rest of the turn. No, you can only normal summon or special summon Flower Cardians for the rest of the turn. So yeah. But now for extra deck. Again, pure extra deck. Three Light Flare, three Light Shower, and two Borderfly. I would run three, but I don't have one. So you should know what Light Shower does. It burns your opponent for 1500. But as a result, uh, wait, okay, let me start again. So it can burn your opponent for 1500 and stops your cardian flower cardian monsters from being targeted by and destroyed by card effects. So Regeki, Dark Hole, Ka Interrupted Kaiju Slumber, stuff like that won't affect them. Also, um, during your opponent's end phase, you must activate one of its effects to either uh, skip your draw phase, so you can burn your opponent for another 1500, or negate its effects so you... Um, you can draw, but it leaves your flower cardian susceptible to effects. Borderfly, in my opinion, is a much better version of Necro Valley because it stops your opponent from activating effects in the grave or special summoning from grave. Whereas, um, what is it? Uh, Necro Valley stops you from banishing from grave, special summoning from grave, or uh, pretty much removing any card from the grave anywhere. But they can still activate the effects in the grave, so Graph will still get its effect off. Whereas with Butterfly, Graph and Dante won't. So basically anything sent to the graveyard won't get an effect. So I just like Butterfly because he's, well, awesome. And he also gives Flower Cardians piercing, so... Dang. Then Triple Light Flare. I know you could probably only get one or two out per turn, but I like running three. So if you're up against Tierra and you're forced to banish cards from your extra deck, you've got multiple copies of this. So you don't have to send, like, all three of these just to keep the Light Showers and the Butterflies. So what it does is once per turn during either player's turn, when your opponent activates a spell trap card, you can negate the activation, and if you do, destroy that card. Uh, if a flower card in monster you control battles an opponent's monster, that monster has its effects negated during the battle phase only. So stuff like Ch um, Chidori in Black Wings won't get its effect because it gets negated. And finally, if this face-up Synchro Summon card is destroyed by battle, all leaves the field because of an opponent's card effect while its owner controls it. You can special summon one Flower Cardian Synchro Monster from your extra deck except Flower Cardian Light Flare. So you can just um, special summon a Light Shower or a Borderfly back when he's gone. Or the new Synchro uh, Monster that's coming out, which I would run at 3. That's it for the deck profile, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Comment down below if you want to see any other deck profiles because I do have the money now so I'll be able to buy some cards, get some cards, packs, pack openings, stuff like that. But just not, just a little bit more than normal but still not as often because I still have to save up for university. Um, just, I've got to save up for a lot of stuff so. But other than that, this is Heroic Master signing out. Hope you found this video mildly entertaining.